We're gonna relax for a minute. Rain sucks. Hail sucks worse. Threats of rain and hail and tornadoes are even worse. Anyways, that's Oklahoma for you. Yo, folks. <laughs> so uh, last we left off, we were in Firelink uh, Shrine. This is definitely uh, not Firelink Shrine. Hey, uh. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely not Firelink Shrine. Uh, I did a little bit of off-camera work to do a couple things. One, getting down here. Um, so this is the Stone Dragon. Uh, something that you can do, because uh, Stone Dragon is so chill. As you can walk around here. Oh, and do uh, that. It, it was rude, but look, he's still super chill. Still super chill. If you want the dragon great sword. Yeah, he's he's immortal. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So he doesn't care. But anyways, um I wanted to get down here and I didn't want to like show off like forever trying to get down here because there's a lot of tree branches and mushrooms and if you don't jump just right or fall just right you'll die and that was annoying <laughs> so yeah i got down here so like i mentioned in the last uh session tomb of the giants i was like oh that looks a lot like the uh ash lake area well we're at the bottom of the ash lake area so tomb of the giants is somewhere way up there uh, the tree that we climbed up is that one, so that's way, it goes way, way up there. Um, so yeah, we're basically under all the roots and everything like that. Uh, there was a couple of hydras here, I took care of them. Um, but yeah, basically this is just, I'll, I'll kind of walk the beach on the way back. Um, there are some mushrooms and basilisks that can curse you in there. And then these little uh, crabby things. They are quite, or wait, crabs? Not crabs, oyster things. Yeah, so you can pick up tw uh, Twinkling Titanites and 
purging stones. Oh my gosh, am I stuck? Okay. Okay, maybe they're scallops. But anyways, uh, yeah, Twinkling Titanites, which we need to upgrade other stuff maybe. Um, and also purging stones. So if we ever get cursed, Later on, we can use that to get back to some level of decency. Anyways, uh, yeah, so the it's a very haunting music. It's one of the few areas that has constant music. Hello, Tricky Nicky. Always lovely to see you. And I forget if I said hey to Erica, but hey, Erica, too. <laughs> um... Yeah. He's not being bad. Oh, well, I mean, Wheatley's collar is there to be chewed on. Of course. So, yeah, they are. Uh, this is how you get, you know, the pearls out of the oysters or scallops or whatever. You know, that's how you do it in Dark Souls Land, anyways. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's just, again, a very haunting, beautiful area. It's just. A shame that it's kind of out of the way. Um, basically, you have to go... Uh, and there's a dragon stone. Oh, I might as well pick up the dragon stone. Um, but yeah, you have to climb all the way down past the area in Blight Town um, to get this. So it's definitely not... It, this is completely optional. Like, you don't need to come here at all. So... And there was one other optional area that I forgot, and I have to thank uh, some folks for reminding me of in the DLC. Um, so, when I first got to the DLC, there was a dragon that stomped in front of me and flew off. We forgot to take care of the dragon, so uh, we're going to head back and uh, take care of the dragon. Um, before we do that, though, we got to talk with a friend. And that's how you get up to the tree and go all the way back up, if you want to, which we won't, because I never plan on... I don't plan on coming back here again. Uh, that stone dragon is how you get into the Dragon Covenant, if you want to be a uh, dragon bro, I guess you can say. Uh, so yeah, uh, next we are going to go to the... Um, the uh, Black Dragon Calamite. Um, before we do that, though, I do want to try to get a couple of large Titanite stones because I actually went through my batch. Uh, it's something I should have done a bit more off stream. I'm sorry. I just kind of remembered it just now. Um, but I equipped the uh, gold uh, ring just to help out with uh, drop rates and stuff. Oh, come on, guys. Hello. Goodbye. Of course. It's like right when I'm trying to look for some, now I'm not getting any anymore. It's fine. I won't, I'll only do this once, and then if I don't get any, I don't get any, we'll just move on. Uh, the reason being is... I got one. Um, so I decided which strength-based weapon I want to use. Uh, I'm going to use the great sword. But also, as I was, again, doing a couple things off stream, I got a new bow. The Black Bow of Ferris. So, let's see how many... Okay, first let's uh, make sure we get all the way back up so I don't uh, walk off anything. Uh, let's see. I have one. Okay, that's not enough, but that's fine. Uh, so, I'm going to be using just a regular greatsword in honor of Gutsu. And I'll be uh, using the Black Bow of Ferris for any ranged nonsense that I need to do. Um, but yeah, so we will... Oh, I am actually where I want to be because... Yes, this is a danger zone. So I actually did a couple of duels to practice fighting and uh, PvP combat uh, and duels. I said that twice. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, actually won uh, a couple of them. I have definitely lost a lot of them. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, 
let's talk with Chester because that was kind of rude of him to invade us earlier. Let's see if he makes any mention of it. Oh, you. You. Not quite some nerve. Or are you just thick? Fine then. What is it that you need? Um. Did you really slay Knight Artorias? Yes. I heard the Abyss found him first, but even still, that's absolutely treacherous. Yes, magnificently so. <laughs> <laughs> very, Believe very treacherous. Holy Seal has brought food by that walk. Okay. Uh, you have. To... <sighs> yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of treachery, you survive your travels. You invaded me and uh, payback. It's happening. What now? You think this is all my fault? How? You win. Please. Oh, please. Have mercy. Well, I mean, I surprised him. So, uh, yeah, that's how you get the uh, Chester's gear. So, we can uh, we can go in Chester gear for a minute. Uh, actually, I really don't like the armor set. Or at least, I like the look of it, but practicality speaking, I like the Wanderer's gear a bit better, I think. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, we'll, we'll go with that for a bit. And then probably go back to the Eastern armor. Um, oh yeah, I am light rolling now, that's a plus. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and get that on, since I'm no longer wearing Mask of the Child. So yeah, there's this way down here that I didn't really go down. Let's go ahead and go down. Actually, I forgot. Better ring than that is... Oh! It's a wolf ring. Jenna simulation gets more and more believable by the day. Yep. So yeah, the wolf ring, uh, so if I get hit, it doesn't stun me like it was earlier. So. Very pretty lights and everything. Probably should go there. They do not like whatever they heard outside. Yep, that's a dragon. So uh, this is how we go down to uh, talk with dragon. Who actually though, actually though, almost is this. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. Well, I missed the lizard. That's fine. There's all these pretty things down here, but we're not going to touch any of that yet. Because uh, we're going to do one quick thing. There's a friend that we haven't met yet. And I almost forgot to talk with him. Yeah, the lizard is gone. Laysai. Um, yeah, so we have a friend, and dragons are tough. I'm going to just go ahead and say that I you can fight them before you meet up with this other friend. It's definitely a lot harder, <laughs> and uh, as we can tell, I'm, uh, I am very out of practice. So... I'm going to have a friend just help me out with this fight here. Uh, not directly speaking, though. Just uh, try to have him show off his skills. And I think he's up there, I believe. So there is that fog gate I never went through. And I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, 
it doesn't just take us to the dueling area. Oh, the purple coward's crystal. Yeah. Nope, it's this way. Sorry. Uh, this is the way to the du That other way through the fog gate is dueling area. This is how you get to uh, our friend. A giant friend. A very giant friend. Just sitting up here, whittling stuff away. Hello. Mm. A visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed our Torius. Mm -hmm. The old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor in hand. Yep. Retired and blind. Little help to me, I'm afraid. Dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration, pride, hatred, rage. <laughs> The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Understand one day. Oh, I've had all those. <laughs> thoughts return. Great waves of mystery. You're assuming I'm going to live that long. Mm. There's very little to be said. What good is a dog? There's no hands to hunt. But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Okay. Well, I was hoping. Let's see. Tomorrow, the black dragon facing the giraffe. Yes, I thought as much. And remember, he said he's retired and blind. Ferocious dragon indeed, even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Of course. <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I take many dashes of recklessness. And I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now... Again, blind and retired. So basically, the dragon's not going to be flying around blasting us the entire fight. Yes. A true shot was never loosed. <laughs> that bat will be grounded for a good spell. Mm-hmm. is in thine hands. I await good tidings. So do I. Dragon slayer. Knighthood's highest calling. Well, it's gonna be Hello there. What of Calamit? He is an ancient dragon. Strive or no. He will not be put down easily, that is very much true. Uh let's see. What do you have to buy? Ooh, actually I do need a couple of those. 
And yeah, he can do great things. Uh, sure, you know what? We'll buy one of each of those. Why not? Alright, well, let's uh, go get us a, uh, a dragon. Well, uh, yeah, nah, let's just go. I was thinking about going back and resting, but eh, it's fine. We'll just go. And yeah, this is uh, basically... Yeah. PVPs. Who knows how many of them are actually legit? Because uh, I believe that some of them are uh, less legit than others. Also, um, you don't get anything other than like just recognition for winning. You don't get like a bunch of souls and stuff like that. So, all right. Let's go back down and, uh, ooh. Yeah, I don't think you can summon anyone. I don't remember being able to summon people for Calamine. I might be wrong though. I doubt you can, though. Yep, so you can tell that's a uh, boss door, all right. Now, you can go and, again, try to fight him before uh, go uh, downs him, but, again, that's uh, pretty tough. Because Dragon will be flying. All right, so we don't need to worry about the lizard. Let's just uh, go and uh, kill us a dragon. Hello, friend. Probably should have used a green blossom to help with stamina recovery. Oh yeah, I just realized. Not the best time to be changing rings, but... Alright, because basically any hit that he does is going to knock me down. So I don't need the wolf ring at this point. Oh my god, that thing always gets me. Get back. Uh. 
of course. and reckless. Because it ends here. Whew. And that's how you kill a dragon. I mean, with the help of a uh, great bow archer, of course. So for that, we get a troll ring. The calamity ring is uh, just there to troll you. Uh, basically, when you equip it, any damage you take is double. You just take double damage. No, no benefits or anything like that. You just, you just get hurt more. Uh, and of course, behind the waterfall is the uh, is a chest. Is it a mimic though? Let's find out. No. And a Titanite slap. I think that's our second one. First one we got from the Asylum uh, Stray Demon way, way back in the day. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and head back to uh, go with the uh, good news. Is there anything behind that waterfall? Oh wait, I think there's a couple other things down there too. But yeah, worth uh, quite a bit of souls, so we'll definitely be uh, catching those in. Um, Again, for more strength to switch up. Hello, Richard Sanery. You just missed me taking down a dragon. Let's go back in our kind of samurai-ish armor. And then we'll need to equip the, uh... Apple's Ring. So that wean fast roll. Yeah, that, that kind of gives you a hint. Because basically, I think you can pick up stuff until you get that item. If only Hawkeye were here. That's kind of your hint of uh, going, who's Hawkeye? And then wandering around and going, oh, this blind archer is Hawkeye. Um, so yeah. That's one of my favorite scenes. It's like, well, I'm old and retired and blind, but uh, yeah, I guess I can try to help. And then just one shots the dragon for you. Or at least puts the dragon down so you can fight it instead of it flying around because again the dragon will do a lot more flying if that doesn't happen honestly probably should have used the homeward bone save some time actually yeah we're gonna do that everyone I'm sorry I'm sorry where is homeward bone Save a bit of time and also just do the quick leveling and all that stuff. Alright, so yeah, it's getting pretty expensive to level up <laughs> uh, anything. But let's. So the weapon I wanted to do was the. Greatsword. Uh, we do have the Dragon Greatsword, but I don't think I'm, yeah, I'm definitely not close to getting that, but I think, yeah. Oh wow, I'm surprised I can still roll in that. So yeah, we've seen a lot of the Chaos Blade this playthrough. Let's go ahead and uh, switch things up. I'm at plus 10, so I maxed out on that. And uh, let's... Uh, Let's go Paladin. Paladin, as it were, according to some of my friends. Oh, yeah. Actually, okay. Before we go Paladin, we'll go Weird Armor. 
I did buy the uh, Wolf Knight armor. The legs are so thin, like thinner than uh, they should be. Like, let me unequip them. Yeah, like they just make your legs super thin. I guess they're like, I don't know, leg slimmers or something. Still a fast roll. All right, sweet. So yeah, we're gonna go the uh, heavy sword route. I'm gonna need to practice the great sorting. Well, I'll just practice on enemies. All right, hey, buddy, thanks for the help. Of course, any doubts? It wasn't with an arrow through its wing either, but. This great bow, yep. I shot made it, but no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, I need outweighs mine. Okay. I'll I'll use that, sure. Sure, I I think I'm about as big as the handle. I'll just kind of stand up and go and then use myself as the arrow. Great idea. Great idea. Farewell, proud human. May every honor be bestowed upon thee. And to you as well. Oh, I was trying to bow. Let's bow. Thank you, friend. One of like maybe two or three friends in this whole game. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's go ahead and go down. And uh, yeah. So we're officially done with the DLC now. Sorry I, I missed it, but I mean, it was uh, worth it to see, again, uh, one of my favorite cutscenes. Alrighty. So I think the next one I'm gonna take is uh, the Four Kings. Yeah, this is where I was dueling earlier. There's actually a pretty big dueling scene here. Uh, you know what? Let's let's practice on a real person. Let's do one duel. It shouldn't take too long to get summoned in for it. So basically, this uh, the red invasion sign. It's kind of saying, "Hey, I want to duel you. I don't want to invade you and interrupt you." Like. In order to fight someone, someone has to touch your sign and be like, okay, I want you to fight. Uh, I want you to fight me instead of me trying to forcefully invade someone's world. So, all right, uh, let's do a little bit of comparisons though. Uh, it's at 442 versus 450, so that's pretty good. Um, and then I'm almost got that to max level. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I still... No, I, I did not think I could fast roll if I didn't add that on. Uh, yeah, so... There we go. So yeah, uh, if I do win, then I get their souls and some Mandy. If I lose, I still remain alive, but I lose all my souls. So it's not that big of an issue. All right. Hey, hey. All right. Let's, uh, no, we're gonna, me and him fight, or are you two fighting? Okay, all right, I'll let you two fight. So I've been in some uh, dual things before. Where the, oh, human host basically summons in two duelists and basically the human host watches from the side and he'll drop like a prism stone or something you know basically signaling who's winning who lost or whatever either way though it's free souls for me oof oof
All right, let's go. Well, that's that. <laughs> that magic, uh, that shotgun blast is uh, pretty insane. But anyways, uh, yeah, I didn't get a lot of practice in, but I did get quite a few souls. So I'm actually going to go ahead and level up. If anyone wants to see one more duel, well, actually, let me, uh, I'm, I'm, I kind of, I kind of want to try. So yeah, as long as you pick up your souls that from wherever you died at, that's, you know, then you don't lose anything. So basically, dueling is a free way to get more souls, potentially, if you win. Uh, so actually, I am not R1. No R1 spams here. Uh, at least not for this weapon. Okay, because R1, it's kind of slow. I do like the R2, and I do like the dodging uh, R1. Uh, the dodging R1 does a little bit of a thrust in case someone's kind of inching out of your dodge range or whatever. Uh, so let me just use a few more souls. Let's just say, yeah, right here, and then level up one more time. Level up that strength, 445, and yeah, we'll give it just a little bit, but if I don't get summoned in like, you know, a minute, then we'll go. I just want to try one more time now that I'm feeling a little bit more, a little bit more comfy. So it's kind of funny, the R2 of the Chaos Blade actually uses, I'll, I'll actually switch to it real quick. Um, can I still fast roll? Nope. The R2 of the Chaos Blade actually uses more stamina than the uh, R2 of the Greatsword. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get summoned, so yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, Ask and you will receive. And also patience. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Hello, hello. Or praise. All right. Yeah, like I said, that roll R1 is kind of surprising because people who dodge back, they don't get that extra range or they don't see that extra range because a lot of people use either the Zweihander or the Dragon Greatsword, or, you know, all the special Greatswords, but not the regular Greatsword. And that's why Guts is the best. Swordsman. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's some duels. I feel good with a win and a loss. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to Firelink Shrine. And, oh my gosh, I don't think, is there any bonfires down there? I don't think so. I'm trying to think if there's any bonfires. I don't think so, so we'll have to fill up here. And by fill up, I mean uh, kindle this. And since we have the Rite of Kindling, uh, from Pinwheel, we can up all the bonfires to give us the 20 flasks that we see. So... Oh gosh, Ender. Okay, look. Look. I'm sorry. I, I should have... I should have praised it. Let me, let me make that my default move. Hold on. You're right. It took me a minute to get it, actually, and I forgot to switch it over. Uh, let's see. We don't ever point down because that's rude. Uh, so... Yeah. Alright. And... 
Is this it? Is this it? Alright. How do we bow again? Uh, or... Yeah. Never mind. We'll just have to do the thing whenever we decide to do the, uh, stuff. Alright, so, uh, heading down to... Uh, the watery area, I forget its name. Um, we are going to need a transient curse in order to do any damage to anything down there. And I'm hoping that they'll be generous and drop more transient curses because this is my last one. Okay, good. <laughs> I was about to run in there and be like, wait, wait, wait. It might not be there. Uh, sun bros. Sun bros is the only way to be a... Only way to be in this game. Ooh, um, actually, now that I did get the, uh... Some large finite shards, I'll finish upgrading my bow. Is that a oh, right. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll give you the enchanted amber. There you go. Uh, alright, well, we don't need you to do any of that, we just... What is this? Oh, yeah, that takes so much. You know what? <laughs> You'll keep this up while uh, you play through uh, Kingdom Hearts. Right, Kingdom Hearts, that's what I'm thinking of? Ooh. Ooh, actually... If we get our strength eye enough, yeah. All right. Uh, well, I do have enough um, Twinkling Titanite for that. Ooh, StarCraft Two. Yeah. So I'll probably be actually uh, maybe uh, switching over to Ghost. Great bow. Oh, forgot the story of Kingdom Hearts. I have. Uh, all I remember is at the end of Part Two. Sora and Riku and the 30 minute cutscene of their bromance, I think. I think that's what I remember. All right. So yeah, if I walk down there, I think you might remember from a very early stream, uh, yeah, you just die. So let's not die. All right. All right, one hit kills, that's good. And also, I might uh, switch to the Dragon Greatsword once I get enough strength to even think about carrying it. Oh, yeah, I forget. They just rise up from the ground. That is so annoying. Ugh. Actually, you know what? That's why we have our bow. I love the Black Bow of Ferris. If you have enough decks to use it. All right. Thank goodness for uh, poison stuff. Oh. oh, yeah, I have to make that move first. Is that... So none of them dropped a transient curse yet. That's not... Good. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch over to Covetous Gold Serpent Ring because if they don't drop any, then that's GG for me. At least as far as this area. I, I forget who sells them. Herring Dagger. Ooh. It does last a little while, though. Yeah, the uh, heavy weapon run uh, is easier. I, I, as much as I love like the katana, you actually, unless you've been watching like the YouTubes or you haven't commented on any of the other Twitch streams, Ender, uh, I've been going katana almost the entire stream. Is this transient curses? Yes, two more. Okay, good. All right, then I'll go ahead and switch out to Havel's Ring again, so I can fast roll. Uh, yeah, I've been doing uh, the Chaos Blade specifically, which has been doing okay. Uh, whoops. Let me actually... 
get that in an equipped slot so I can tell when it runs out. And uh, I'll be able to tell when it runs out when my weapon also goes through things uh, blindly. But yeah, I'd like to also just have a little bit more indication than that. Yeah, there's stuff attacking my feet. I know, I know. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff around places. Uh, let's see. I think that's a chunk over there. Oh, hello. Okay, that was a lot of friends. Also, they can just clip through walls because whatever. Okay. Yeah, I do, uh, <laughs> do the stabby thing. Uh, yes, I am trying my best to do the stabby thing. <laughs> Alrighty, so. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> You're not hiding that well through the wall. Good, uh, good ghost. Okay, so I think if I go down here, this is the device that lets me... What? Oh, right, I have to get things... Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, let's see... So basically, as you've seen, a lot of stuff is underwater. Uh, we need to get that above water. Is this where the composite bow is? I forget. Yeah, it is. All right. I actually really like the composite bow, but for this build, I'll just stick with the black bow of Ferris. Also, I've spent way too many resources upgrading it, so... Yeah. All righty. So... Now, coincidentally... If you let yourself get cursed by a, um... Okay. Alright, not cool. Oh, okay, yep, ran out, ran out. So yeah, actually, another thing is, uh, if you're not cursed, and you can't attack them, uh, they can still definitely attack you, and they actually do more damage to you because you're not cursed, technically. But uh, if you let yourself get cursed by a basilisk or anything like that, that does count as being cursed. So you can run through here with your half health and uh, be perfectly fine killing stuff. I am semi-surprised I haven't been invaded yet, but only semi-surprised. Okay, I can drop down there, but that'll be a lot of health lost if I do that. I think there's a staircase or something down or something along the side of the building anyways is that it yes we're just gonna drop down here and eh. there we go curse bite ring so that actually reduces curses if we need to reduce being cursed but we need to be cursed, so it's kind of a weird ring to find right now. Also, I don't think we're going to be going anywhere else in the rest of the game that will involve curses. Okay, so let's go... Yeah, it is annoying when they attack through the walls. All right, let's... Uh, let, come on, come on through, y'all. I think there are going to be a lot of things in here. No, thank you. Yeah, if you climb up, uh, there are going to be uh, folks up there trying to get you. We'll go ahead and just climb, though. I think I dealt with some of them when I was outside. They might have floated up and away. But yeah, the people would be, or ghosts would be trying to attack me right now. Okay, so we have a single friend up here. And I'm going to speed through this just, um, thank you. 
Yeah, if you come here before you get the uh, the thing, he said he will not give that to you. The dark repartitolo, if you can find him. Yeah. Um. Let's see. If, oh, yeah. If we are cursed. Uh, yeah, I do want to purchase just a couple more. Just a couple more, just to be safe. All right. Uh, so. Yeah, if you uh, interact with him before you have the Lord Vessel that you get from beating uh, Smoma and Ornstein, uh, then you don't get that key. He basically says, I'm waiting for someone who has a Vessel of Lords, and ends the combo right there, pretty much. Um, so which way is it? I forget. I think it's... The... I don't think it's this way, but I'm just... Yeah, because there's that. And then someone... Attacking me from above because they're jerks. All right, I'll have that equipped because I think the time limit is about to run out for that. And let's see. Do, do, do. Launch out for feet. Oh, that's the way I came. Okay, now well, here's where I get a little lost. Ow. By the way, you jerk. Let's see. Nope, not that way. Which way am I supposed to go? I forget. Hmm. Well, no bosses here. That's the way to the start. I think I need to keep going this way. Oh, gosh. And then climb up and above, I think. At least I've eliminated most of the ghosty things around here, so I don't need to worry about them. I said most, not all. Hmm, actually, at this point it might be faster to, oh, I don't want to do that jump. Uh, okay. I think if I go the other way, no, it's not open yet. Sorry, I was trying to think of the Valley of the Drakes and there's a back way to get here, but I think because I haven't, um, I haven't, uh, gotten the floodgates open, I can't access any of that yet, so I don't think that will work. Is this, yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, there's only so many ways you can go. And if we do this, we can go up from there. Which I don't think I can jump off the roof because there's a uh, railing all the way around, but I will double check. Yeah, there's railing all the way around. Um, but this will let me see. Okay, I think... I went up. Let's see. actually. There's nothing going that way. I think it's that. Yeah, it's this way that I need to go. I need to open up those gates. So I need to go the way I was going originally. So don't jump down that. It would be very painful. Keep going this way because the floodgates are somewhere over there. I think because I have the key, I can now do this. I think. No, I cannot. Oh, I can open this. Yes, okay, there we go. All right. I was close. I was close.
let the water drain. Now there are still some endless pits in here, but basically if I fall in the water, well, there's not a lot of water left. It's much better now. All right. So now I think we can do this thing. Where is that? The pool. So now we, it's a shortcut. Um, is this gonna go up? I forget. It should go down, right? Yeah. All right, so this was underwater. Hence all the wetness. And uh, yeah, so this is the back way I was talking about. Yeah, so Valley of the Drakes, folks. Yeah, they're annoying. Oh, hello. All right. So yeah, we don't need to fight those guys. That is a very optional area if I wanted to go that way. Uh, but we won't. We'll go this way. And let's see. There's going to be a lot more of those dark wraiths. And if you let them grab you, it is super bad news. So uh, let's just not let them grab us. Right? Right. Easier said than done. Come on. I've been through the DLC. You can't trick me with goodies out in the open. And I think you have to wait until the um, the water recedes before you get invaded in this area. And yeah, so... Ow. So yeah, those things will shoot out the... Um... The uh, homing souls that were in the uh, catacombs like you can see there. Yeah. And they do take a little bit of damage, but these guys are... Yeah. They're annoying. What? Oh, yeah. So, you can have only so many kind of permanent... Um, or not permanent, but... Um, like status effects going on. And right now, because I am technically under the effects of Transient Curse, I cannot uh, get a replenishment. And there should be two guys that come out here, right? Two guys? No guys? Okay, I'll take it. All right, so we wanna go up. Okay, whoops. <laughs> I think he might have fallen down a pit, maybe. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy to him. All right. So there is a chest I am definitely wanting to keep an eye out for. Oh, right. Okay, well, actually, this was a shortcut. Okay, never mind. I thought this was a new area. Never mind. Okay, so where's that shortcut again? Now I forgot where the shortcut was. Okay, there it is. All right. So now I can go from uh, Firelink Shrine down to here pretty quick. Humanity! Oh, the humanity. All right, so I need to find some stairs up. Alrighty, and I think there's another dark night somewhere around here. I could be wrong. Okay, normally I don't go for this ember, but because I am going to be using the uh, not specifically boss weapons and the like, I definitely want to pick this up. So, is it in here? Yeah, it is. 
very large ember. It lets me upgrade normal weapons to plus 15 now. And I have picked up a lot of chunks through this playthrough, so I think I should be good as far as that goes. Well, I might be able to get that. Let's see. No, I don't think so. All right, it doesn't matter anyways. I got pretty much what I wanted from here. So, all righty. Um, basically, we can also go back to where we kind of started this level from. And let's see. Because, yeah, since everything is now uncovered, just a matter of walking back there, which... Holy moly, it has been a bit. So I think it's this way, then this way. Is that up again? I don't think it's up. It might be, though. Be wary of enemy indeed. So I think I need to exit the other way instead of the way I came in. All right, yeah. Okay, here we go. So there's a couple more Dark Nighters. And now, because I'm using a such a large weapon, uh, this stuns pretty easily. But also, I need to... I know that there's a couple of ghosts around here, too. Okay. And because I have good poise, his sword does not bother me nearly as much as it normally would. Okay. So yeah, that's overlooking the Valley of the Drakes area. So, all right. So we need to go just back this way, climb up these stairs. And we're about to get to the point where we're going to fight the boss of this area. I'm holding off on that for a bit, though. I just want to get a couple more souls because it's going to be very expensive to upgrade my stuff to level 15. Whoops. So that's the grab that they can do to you that will drain your humanity. And because I'm not using the Chaos Blade, it doesn't really... Oh yeah, quite dead. <laughs> you're already dead. If you can read this, you're already dead. Um, yeah, so let's uh, head on back. I don't have any extra Firekeeper souls, right? No, I don't. Okay. I think there's like one or two more that I can think of, but they're not in this area. I already picked up the one that was in this area, I believe. So we'll go ahead and go back down. Don't run in there. Don't run in there. Uh, while that's coming up, let's see how many chunks we have. We have nine. I think that's enough to upgrade the great sword to plus 15. Worst case scenario, I can go back to Honor Londo and farm a bit for them, um, because I think you can actually buy chunks from the giant blacksmith there. Alrighty, well... So... Things look a little different now that it's not drain, drain, or sorry, soaking in water. So yeah, you can actually see the ground and stuff like that. Uh, you can still fall off though, so you don't want to. Like I could still fall to my death down there, so definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, so it looks a little bit different since there's no water kind of buffering this. And yeah, transient curses. I forgot to come back alive. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Not at this point. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and chop up some ghosts. I think I got the one that was over there. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. 
All right, and now that we've drained the swamp a bit, uh, there's a drop off somewhere. Yeah, here. <clears throat> so yeah, saves us a little bit of time from having to go all the way to the shortcuts and stuff like that. So this is what I was hoping to do is hit one, stun it. Oh, thank you for the chunk. That is greatly appreciated. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll just run in here, run back out. Oh yeah, see, ghost. No huggies, no ghost hugs, social distancing. Ooh, transient curses, I will definitely take those. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and have that guy pop. All right. And that's acid. That does quite a bit of, uh, or makes us very slow. We can't roll normally now. Like, I can go like... I can't run normally. Slight difference. Eh? Friend chest. And another Titanite chunk. All right. So... All righty. I think... Yeah, that's to the boss. So normally we'd be able to... Uh, Normally, we'd be able to um, summon a friend. Um, but we won't. We'll just see how it goes. We can summon a witch to help us, basically. I do want... Uh, oh, well. We'll see how we do. And don't worry, I'm not going to forget. I'm not going to forget. So... We'll just keep going down these stairs for a bit. And uh, until we hit the end of the stairs. Which is about here. So there should be a message that says, yes. Give that a plus rating. Ring. Blah. Plus rating for the ring. Because if you do not have the Covenant of Artorias equipped, you will just die. Instantly, you will jump off and fall forever and die. And we don't want that. So, since I'm not going to be fast rolling, and I definitely want to be able to fast roll, uh, let's change up the gear. I didn't mean that. I meant wanderers. All right. Uh, we won't need the bow. And I'll, I'll just get rid of that because we'll need that and we'll need some green blossoms. Okay, so let's see. Unfortunately, I cannot equip the green blossoms yet. So we'll just go ahead and do this and uh, away we go. And if you fall down here and then unequip the covenant thing, it will just go away. All right, where is this? So, where, okay, hello. All right, so you have kind of a time limit because you see the boss name is for, ah, uh, crap is for kings. Well, I forgot to switch over to my Estus. Oh well, it's fine. So I will just have my... Um, I'm just going to run through the area. I'm not going to do Transient Curse because I would like to have a bit of... Uh, a bit more stamina recovery because, well, 
actually mm, might be time to use the Chaos Blade. It'll be a little bit faster. Won't need that either. I'm still a fast rolling, right? There we go. Okay, cool. So won't need that. Won't need that. Um, all right, I did this uh, to become alive. So I probably won't need all 20 Estuses, because if I'm doing that, then I'm not... <laughs> I'm probably already dead if I need 20 of them. So, okay. Let's go ahead and... So yeah, this is going a little bit later. Um, I do want to try to just do two hours of the stream because I uh, um, started a little late saving some folks and uh, Jenna was amazing with the garage. Mm. Okay, all right, one more time without any oopses. Actually, before I do the Chaos Blade, um, it's not going to be doing a lot of damage because I don't have as much humanity. So... I will go ahead and... Well, I, I, my dad said that there was a second wave coming, maybe, or something like that? Unless I am totally mistaken. All right, is that it for the rain? Is there no more rain coming? Because if there's no more rain coming, then <laughs> um, Jenna might do a crazy laugh. Okay, she's not going to do a crazy laugh. I'll do the crazy laugh. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, fine. Fine. Well, boo. All right, so one and a two stabs. More chunks, I definitely need more chunks. More chunks in my life. All right, so we're gonna run in here to lure the guys out. And again, we're just not gonna worry about the ghosts. We're just gonna run past the ghosts. All right, we're gonna play it a little bit safe. Eh? All right, again, playing it just super duper safe because there is a lot of humanity sitting at the bottom of that uh, boss fight there. And the ghosts hopefully are distracted. Let's dodge anyways. And then there should be, yeah. Oh, you know what? Sure. Oh God. Did I not summon? Okay, yeah, summoned. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, friend. Please get in here, I hope. All right. Yeah, they're doing fine. They're doing fine. Okay, maybe not so fine. Distraction! <laughs> uh damn it. Oh well. Alright, and then have Estus Flask done and ready, and then let's go! One more time without the oops. Let's find our souls first. All the way over there. 
which hopefully should be in the direction of the first key. Oh yeah, I wanted to do the, uh... Ah, dang it. I am definitely not doing good on the time. I do not believe. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, should just not switched weapons. Okay, I just need to remember to not switch the weapon. <laughs> yeah, this boss because basically, yeah, they'll keep spawning more and more of them, unless you're doing quite a bit of damage, which obviously I did not. Uh, do I have enough strength? To... Nope. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we'll do that. We'll come back to life. As you remember, actually, if I'm gonna use the Chaos Blade, I will not need Gold Pine Resin because uh, it uh, doesn't work with the Chaos Blade. Yeah, um, there are definitely some builds that are definitely much more suited to this boss and can quite honestly nuke them. So at a point where like you're waiting for the next one to come in, like if I was a little bit more brave and got my health down to 10% uh, and then uh, did some red tear stone action, that's something that I've seen people do, but then basically you can't get hit. And obviously we can see that I am very good at uh, getting hit. All right, so we won't need to wait next time. All right, let's go. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to our souls we go. Boop do boop boop do 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 Hi-ho, hi-ho. Yeah, I do wish that... Oh, wait, there is a weapon that can actually attack these. I forget which one it is. I, it's the Cursed Great Sword, but there's another one. I think there's, like, a Ghost Dagger they can maybe drop that lets you attack them when you're not cursed, which would be Wonder Bar, but, uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to drop that. I think only the, um, the Screamy Siren Ghost drop it, too, on top of that. Okay, good job there. And then just gonna... And no summon signs this time. Okay. Oh well. Oh, well, Laysai, that's uh, 12 Miedi and uh, some souls. I'll just go transient curse. I won't do the, uh, do the, uh, ba ba ba. Oh, but I do, uh, well, I'm gonna have to stick with Greatsword then, because since I lost all the humanity, I won't be doing the extra damage. Okay. All right, let's uh, see if anyone responds this time.
Yeah, it is kind of irksome to lose 11 humanity. That was definitely good Chaos Blade damage, but it just means it's a sign to just stick with the Greatsword. You, you said you are going to switch weapons. You got to switch weapons. Okay, then. Fine. Jeez, game. I can take a hint. Mm, but should I? Eh, oh, well. We're already down here. Basically, I was debating about getting the upgrade to plus 15, but if I die again, then yeah, we'll get it upgraded. I'm not going to waste time going all the way back. Okay, so strategy is maybe summon someone. If not, then just start rushing with the gold pine resin, and uh, it's just going to be sucky to not have the um, not have green. Oh, hello! They were just waiting right there. <laughs> That's funny. You are such polite ghosts. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of sucky to not have the green blossom, especially when I'm swinging this tank of a beast. Or at least I won't need to run through the ghosts or anything anymore. I'm, I can be braver. Yeah, so because I I have the transient curse, you can see that the ghosts don't do nearly as much damage to me now. <laughs> By the way, Ender, I don't know if you can tell, but I am wearing a near Automata shirt. To be a 9S forever! Okay. All right. I think in order to get the witch to help you, you have to have. Um... Ah, barely see it. Eh. Eh. Oh well. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think you have to have, uh, summon the um, the witch from uh, uh, the moonlight butterfly fight. So since I did not do that. Then, yeah. All right, can't do the green blossoms, so we're just going to do gold pine resin. Cross fingers, hope for the best. So many stairs. All right, let's go. And at least we don't need to worry about our souls. <laughs> Such a fun fall. Okay, where are you at? Where are you at? There you at. Let's not start with that whole stupid beam. to equip that. Alright. There we go. Come on. Alright. One down. Yeah, so even though it says the four kings, you can definitely spawn more than that. I'll just block. 
instead of trying to maybe luck out a dodge. Yeah, if you're inside their attack range like that, you definitely take a lot less damage from their hits. Oh yeah, I forgot. Also, if you hit their ghosts while they're fading, you actually do a little bit more damage too. Almost there, almost there, almost there, just... All right, even though the four king themselves had more health, it's just the bottom health bar that you need to worry about. So yeah, you can kill it in like three, I think even two, depending on your build, kings, if you like keep attacking the ghost as it's dying. So anyways, yeah, that's the fight. I'd have a hundred thousand souls now if I didn't die like an idiot. All right, so. Let's go ahead and bump up that strength again. Uh, and then we will go to the Undead Parish. What about the next fight I'm going to do? Which one do you think it is? I'll give you a hint. It's full of fire. Well, it's not this one. I, I'm, I came back here because a uh, very large ember. Left arm, eh? <laughs> well, thank, thank you, you kindly. Or mightily. No, just leave the rest to me. Andre of a store out gets the job done. You shall see. Alright, so let's uh, modify some equipment. Let's get that going. And we'll go ahead and get that going at least. So, uh, if I went to another blacksmith and I had enough ember, or sorry, enough uh, chunks. At that point, because I've modified it to the 11 point, it can go get keep getting upgraded from there. If I left it at 10, I'd have to go back to Andre to uh, to get it buffed up, basically. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this maxed out. Yeah, there we go. Um, and we have a few left over, so yeah, we'll go ahead and pump some into this. And then we'll see about giving that one a go, if we ever get up that high. All right, so now we are going to go a ways back. So it's been a while since we've been to the Daughter of Chaos. I mean, uh, last stream I did go there to pump in 30 Mandy, but as far as like actually being there, that's been many, many streams. <laughs> so what we're wanting to do now is not that way. Um, is basically continue down, where was it? This way. Uh, so I fought that one boss that got me the uh, black uh, robed armor set and I killed him by chopping his hand off basically. And then there were a whole bunch of, like, basically bosses down there. And I said I wasn't going to go down there for a while. Uh, a while has passed. So we're going to go ahead and start going. Initially, this was all lava land. So I couldn't even go down there if I wanted to. But once we killed the, uh, the, uh, golly, I forget what it's called. Yeah, they're, they have eggs on their back. 
The eggs are very no buenos. Uh, there's a specific ring I need to get that's kind of annoying, but I'm going to need to do it. Oh, before I do anything else, let's go back to... Let's, we, we did the uh, Astorias. Let's go to Paladin. And we'll do that. And then get the bow. And we should still be fast rolling. No, we're not. Ooh. Well, if we're going to be medium rolling anyways, might as well... Yeah. Alrighty. So we're going to be tanking a few more blows than previously. I do need to go that way for the ring, but I want to actually go this way first real quick. So we fought the Cap Capra Demon as a boss a while ago. What's the fight with him look like now? Definitely not boss quality. Alright, so let's just keep on going. And at some point, we'll see an old friend. Old friend? Old friend, hello, I say. There we go. There we go. Old friend. Old friend Kirk Douglas. Eh. Goodbye, old friend. We'll meet him one more time. Uh, and he dropped a spike shield. So that's pretty fun to use. So... There is a bonfire down there, and I'm actually going to just drop to that. Oh, hello. Uh, first, we have to deal with this, though. Silly bug. All right. Okay, so we will go ahead and pick this up, and then we're going to go back up and get that ring. So there are a couple of statues, though, that will start moving like so. Miscreant. So yeah, we got to watch out for those uh, moving uh, statues. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, one at a time isn't so bad. Several might be no buenos. So, stairs stopped me. I think I would have had them otherwise. Obviously, I, I had the stab going. I had the reach, but squanched. All right, so let's uh, come back to life because, uh, yeah, I like that. Also, more chance to get invaded and, uh, yeah, hopefully get some more humanity and, uh, and souls back for doing so. All right, just need to remember the stairs will stop your stab. Oh, that was embarrassing. It's like... Well, I guess, uh, in one way, you could say that uh, he had the higher ground. And we don't know what happens to people with the higher ground. Wow. I was kind of amazed I even hit them there. Just leg chopper. Just call me the leg chopper. In case they drop the, uh... All 
Oh yeah, I forget that I am definitely a slow row now. Oh my gosh. That'll do. Hey, a demon grape machete. Two of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can I equip them? Nope. Okay. That's fine. So we'll go ahead and start taking on those Taurus demons, which are bigger bosses than the Capra demon. <laughs> but we do need to get that ring. Actually, though... Oh no. Oh gosh. All right. Well, I have to go back anyways, because it, you might have noticed there's some lava blocking the way. And I'll go ahead and use this to level up a bit. Um, but yeah, there's some lava in the way. And lava hurts really, 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 really bad. <laughs> and we meet everyone's uh, dearest enemy, Gravity. So now I have to make it through all those guys, and there's a level waiting for me. Okay, all right, that's fine. Oh, we got a blepper. We got a blepper. <laughs> she is a beautiful girl. All right, so the main reason why I need to come back is to get the armor set that we found earlier. It was kind of a hint saying, hey, this does really high fire resistance. You might need it later. And that later is now. So... Yes. And we'll reverse our hollowing because funsies... And then let's have some fun. And after this, I should probably maybe use that bow on the back for more than just show. Maybe? I, I mean, yeah. Oh my God. I could totally whiff. I could totally whiff, that's fine. What's up? Whew, I did not realize there was another one. That was a close call. Ah, a little bit too short. Where did you come from, by the way? Oh, down here. Oh my gosh, that could have been uh, some bad news bears. What's up? What's up, friendship? So headshots do do more damage if you manage to get a headshot on one of these guys. Like so. bit of a drop off depending on the type of bow but the black bow ferris has the best uh shot range in the game for bows and actually uh yeah he's just gonna let it happen just let it happen So yeah, if the arrow does start falling, then it does less damage, of course. Because gravity is a thing. It, it can only go so far. All right, so let's uh, get our souls. And, 
you know, let's just keep going because I don't want to have to sit through all those again. It's just, uh, it's just more fun. More fun. AKA content. Whoa! You can slip there. That's my swing. Bye bye. So yeah, uh, I'll just show you what fire does. Yeah, so that's if you don't have any, like, flame rings, anything equipped that can help protect that. So we're gonna go ahead and start baiting a few. I think all these are one-time summons, though. Or one-time guys. Oh. Oh, he's coming. And as you might notice, he does not care about the lava. And... Eh. I don't know how I got him in the head right there, but... All right, well, the bow is very effective. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start popping these guys off over here. Oh, didn't mean for two. Oh. Oh gosh, didn't mean for everyone. Didn't mean for a whole party. Just one. All right, well, that's another one down. Maybe just get a little bit sconch closer. Ooh, Demon's Great Axe. All right. Just scotch closer, and that should be good enough to at least start targeting him. Yeah, so the Black Bow of Ferris is pretty good. Oh gosh, okay. Gosh, I didn't realize it was so far away. I don't think I was even hurting him. Uh, got a lead. Got a lead. Oh, he juking. Juking. We got a juker. All right. So, all right. We will fight two of you at once. Uh, not get hit by the lava, though. Alright, and slice and dice. Whew. That could have uh, gone a bit worse. But there we go. <laughs> I can only imagine the dumb faces I look, uh, I make whenever I'm concentrating. I feel like I might be going like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so in order to do this, we are going to need to, again, uh, get as much fire prevention as we can. And then we're gonna do the talisman to help us with that and we won't need that where we're rolling to so oh wait wasn't thought there was another okay where's the ring oh right I think there's the... or no. 
Am I just totally misremember? Is it from that centipede? Am I just being a complete gooberhead? I think it's from the centipede. I think you gotta get the centipede. Yeah. It's from the centipede, so I'll go ahead and see if I can do this real quick. <laughs> there is no ring. And that's about as close as we can call it. So I'll go ahead and warp back. Where's my homeward bone? Level up and then take on the first boss of the area, which will look quite familiar. To some folks anyways, I should say. All right, and then Mask of the Child because that's how we go. Go back into the Paladin armor. All right, let's see. Yeah. Okay, all right, so... Yeah, we have that big door over there that we haven't really gone down. Let's go ahead and check it out. Unfortunate. There you go. Bye bye. So, because I hit his head area with the sword, uh, that did kind of count as like a headshot with the knockout thing. Oh my gosh. Come on. I thought I got you. Ow. So that was annoying. That was even more annoying. I am not a tasty snack. There. Oh my gosh. It's not cheating, it's using all the tools at my disposal. Now, admit forcing him off the edge, that would be cheating. Oh, another demon's grave. You know, there's some runs where I go like 20, 30 minutes trying to farm that, and I get none. And then in a game where I'm probably not going to get enough strength to use it, there we go. All right. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, I need to do this part first. Oh, I forgot to spend souls. Okay, this is fine. So anyways, yeah, you might recognize this guy as the... Um, as kind of the... Uh, uh, same one from uh, the Asylum. It's a little bit tougher. And I forgot to kindle the bonfire, so this is this is all good news for me. All good news. Ah. Alright, and then charge up. Kaboosh. All right, that's actually better for me. Oh gosh, okay, not better for me. Oh, there we go. All right, come on, you silly goose. Slice down. All right, come on. Whew. You know, I might heal up while I have the opportunity. And then another slice of Rooney. And then another charge Rooney for me. Oh, let's block that. And then. All right, let's add a 
have at it twice. Sweet. Twice more, maybe? No. All right. Oof. That could have been a big hit. Ho, 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 ho. All right. Well, that's it for this. Just so it's me and you. No more heals. Oh, gosh. That could have been a lot worse. Ah, gosh. All right, here we go. And stab. Whew. I'll take it. A win's a win. Demon's catalyst. All right. Um. So yeah, that's a magic a user's item if you want it. Okay, so we're gonna go back and do a little bit of a shortcut. And then we're gonna get the process set up for saving Solaire. I think it's up, is it up here or down? I'll go first down, I think. All right, so this is uh, where the next boss is. And I should level up because I have some some souls. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So let's uh, go ahead and unlock that shortcut, and then we'll get the process set up for Solaire. And something that you didn't see me do this stream, but it was a while ago, is I put in 30 humanity for the uh, Chaos uh, Covenant with the Daughter of Chaos. And, uh, so that's why it's not going to be this shortcut that works. It's going to be a different one, but this is... Uh, I need to activate this because it will make things a lot easier in the future in case I die and whatnot. Okay. All right, I don't need to go that way. I don't think I need to go that way either. Which way was I needing to go? It's the drop-off way. This way, yes. So this is above the uh, Demon Fire Sage fight. And I did that to get this set up and going. So I don't think I'll be able to get that, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. That was a little... Nervous. Soul of a brave warrior. Can I grab... No. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh dear. I think I need to try to roll on that, actually. Because I think the drop is otherwise too far. Okay. Alright, so let's see here... Let's face that way and then roll. Easier done than said. All right. Okay. So these are some annoying little guys. No biggie or whatnot. At least to me. And it's kind of weird that you have to do this through the Chaos Covenant. Because you're doing this for Solaire, which should be the Sunlight Covenant, but... Anyways, if I didn't put in that 30 humanity, this would not open. So 
So anyways, this is what I need to do. I'm not going to do that quite yet, though. Or at least killing all of them. Because I need to trigger the next scene with Solaire first. And actually, I think I need to... I think I'll need a Homeward Bone. I don't think I can... Can I climb that? I don't think I can climb that. So yeah, we're almost on our way to the next big boss, actually. So that'll be three out of the four done. Um, and that'll probably be the end of the stream, honestly. Because the fourth one is... Uh, annoying. Very annoying. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. We'll go ahead and actually... I don't think we need to kindle. If, if I do, I'll, uh... I'll know. Also, we're so close. Let's go ahead and burn another... I think I'm going to need to burn two of these to get enough. Alright, getting that strength up there. It's getting up there for sure. Okay. So, uh, see Daisy. Okay, and then just walking our way down. Town. Maybe walking fast. We're not going homebound yet, though. So we have a sunny friend right here. Hello, Night Solaire. It's been a while. And to greet a fellow sun folk. Praise it. All right, and here we go. So this is where my bow is probably going to be used quite a bit. Because as you can see, there's a lot of lava right over there. A lot of lava. A lot, a lot, a lot of lava. So which one's the head? I don't know. It's like a weird, like multi-headed tail thing. So are you gonna come over here, buddy, to fight us on ground? No. Alright. That's fine. I got some arrows for you. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, that was to be expected. Oh dear. Well, Solar is obviously a tank, as you can see. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, maybe, maybe try that one more time. Okay, so we'll actually do some replenishment too. Help boost the health a bit. Didn't realize it was uh, that damaging. <laughs> All right, Solera, come be a tank again. <laughs> Started off here though. No cutscene this time. We know what it's about. Ah. 
Yeah. Get a little closer, buddy. Okay, it, it did not like any of that. That is quite okay. Now I can... Ow. Uh, okay, do you still think the bow's cheating? I think it's cheating by using a whole level that I can't walk on because it's fire. The floor is lava, literally. All right, I'm actually going to kindle this one. Just to make sure. There's another bonfire just past it that I'm not going to be using, though, because, again, i got to do the shortcut thing. Um, so, all right. Let's do that one more time without any oopses. This is where, like, having something like a... Uh, well, something like magic would be very handy. Yeah, we'll do that, sure. Alrighty. One more time, no oopses. Oh, no. Let him go. Don't be so mean to Solaire, you son of a gun. Yeah, you... you Do your lightning spears. Ah. Well, that was uh, easier than the other one, <laughs> than the first time. The orange charred ring. Thank you again so much for that help. All right, so the orange charred ring is what we need to go across lava safely. Like so. So yeah, as you can see, a lot less damage. And if we were taking the normal route through uh, to the next uh, boss, uh, that would definitely be a ring that is very important to have. But as it were, uh, we will not be needing it. Because again, the 30 humanity used for the other shortcut to uh, save Solaire. And here he is right here. Hey, buddy, what's up? How you doing, buddy? Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. 
What, what, what do you mean? Why? Why? After all this searching, I... So he's trying to find the sunlight. So we'll go ahead and Homeward Bone back. Um, actually, we'll take... No, we're going to do the, uh, the Daughter of Chaos bonfire. So as long as we don't, like, go past here, he'll be fine. Because if we, like, started walking the normal way to the, uh, to the next boss, he'll somehow shortcut to where I was killing those little buggy things and, uh, actually get infected like those, uh, egg snail things. And we don't want that to happen to Solaire. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. So we'll go ahead and actually use another two of these. And then use the humanity. One more humanity to uh, get this leveled up. To full 20. And then, yeah. So our uh, great sword is actually doing more damage than the chaos sword would be. But again, of course, the chaos sword is faster and uh, doesn't use nearly as much stamina per swing. So, I mean, it's a comparable amount, but still. All right, so now we will go ahead and is this the way? Nope. We'll send that back up in case this does not work, which it should work. Okay. So we'll be walking down this and we'll be basically just hightailing it to the boss. And we gotta kill all these little buggers. So we gotta kill nine. One. Two, three. Technically there's only one we really need to kill, but still. It just helps me keep track and make sure that I have. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. Oh, nine. Oh, well, we missed the crystal lizard, but I don't think we need anything to upgrade that. So, Sunlight Maggot. It's a helm. A loathem parasite that inhabits Lost Isolith. It's completely immobile, but yet still lives. Uh, so yeah, if we wear it on our head, we do, we have a light. So we, if we could, if we wanted to do the Tomb of the Giants, we could equip this first as our light source instead of the Skull Lantern. But again, it's, uh, it's all the order that you do things. It's, it's not really important, but anyways, so yeah. A, a handless light source if you don't like your helm, basically. So we got a Titanite demon here. It's pretty tough. So we'll probably just run past it because it does come back each time and I don't need any more boss weapon Titanite, but that's a good way to farm for if you're wanting to upgrade your boss weapons, that does keep coming back. So there you go. And I do need to be alive for this next bit because it is 
the last time we'll see uh, Dark, uh, the Dark Spirit Kirk. Also, I don't think I'm going to need the uh, lava ring, so I'll change that out too. Whoopsie, I forgot. Sorry. Okay, um, let's switch it up with the stamina, because I'll be doing a bit of running and gunning. Not the way. Let's send that up. It's like a USB stick. It's like you go one way and then you got to go the other way. Alrighty. So, yeah, we got to kill those and then the boss to make sure that Solera doesn't get infected. Otherwise, it is a sad day. I don't think the Crystal Lizard's back there yet, though, either. Ugh. Alright, so... One! Ah, oh, almost got them all. Well, anyways, four. Oh, no. I did you wrong. I did you wrong. I'm so sorry, Solaire. We're, we're not... No, we're not going to fight you. We're not going to fight you. No. No, that's... Oh, gosh, I didn't realize if we didn't kill the boss in a, that same go. Uh, that is disappointing. That's like, uh, that's like maddening to me. Uh. Well, I'll add a uh, link to how it should have been when uh, Solaris is saved. Uh, on YouTube. Also, uh, he joins you for the final fight. And that's what I really wanted to do. Ow. I, I deserve that. I deserve that. Alright. Well, we're not gonna tarry here. We're going to let those guys just do their own thing. Uh, I am not going to go through the whole level, though. I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, and just fight uh, Dark Knight. There's... As far as I remember, there's nothing of consequence that um, I really wanted here anyways. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, damn... Shame. So yeah, then we would kill this guy and then he would be saved, so. Oh, goodness, it is. Yeah, you can, th that does tilt me. Everything else I'm fine with, but basically spending the whole game um, So, yeah, if you're having trouble with this part, because, um, yeah, it's, this part is a pain. And you can kind of see that we're trying to shoot at the, uh, things there. I think I, I have to get a little bit closer. I was hoping I'd be able to take it out before having to go further, but I think there's a specific ring I'm supposed to be getting to do so, which would suck. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you can kind of see there. That's what I'm trying to get at. At least I think it is. It's been a minute, as you can tell with everything. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to do is uh, get past this. Well, I'll show you what happens. Sure. So when you hit one of these, and you can do any weapon like an arrow or something like that, um, the, the main boss starts coming to life and making things more difficult. But also, worse than that, uh, the floor starts falling and basically becoming lava. So more lava, except this time you fall and you die. So we'll, you'll see. Like, so, well, also, and it is very easy to get knocked into that. So, yeah, the, the whole floor is basically collapsing. Like so. So, yeah, that's what happens. And actually, that is definitely a point where I want to be fast rolling. So I'll probably switch up the armor. So also, since we killed uh, Kirk three times, we get his gear. I'm not going to equip it right now, though. I am going to actually equip... Um, yeah, we'll go this. I don't like the leg bit, though. So I will probably go with Wanderers. Is that fast rolling enough? Thank you. All right. Well, I don't need to come alive again because I did everything I needed to do. Man, that is definitely going to be a salt. All right. Yeah, let's send it up because <laughs> goodness knows. All right. So yeah, uh, if I did go the long way, it's just uh, there's a bunch of big uh, demons that jump around and um, basically like Tyr Tyrannosaurus Rexes, I think. So yeah, uh, is he, uh, he's still there. I'm so sorry, Solaire. I'm so, so sorry. That is my bad. That is a gorgeous view, unfortunately. All right, so let's go ahead and try that boss again. Yeah, basically, yeah, you're rocking around all this nonsense. There's a couple of uh, chests and other good things there, but like, seriously, nothing that I'm going to waste time on. I mean, I might off stream just to get souls and stuff like that, but eh, I don't. Yeah, you don't need to see all that nonsense. It is a silly place, and also the floor falls out under there too, and you can get like I think there's a ember down there. I think, but again, I don't. I, I like the weapons I got, not planning on changing them up. And then here we go again. So uh, that whole thing about hitting the um, hitting that branch I did, uh, you have to do that over every time. So that's why it's usually best to take a ranged weapon and shoot at it so you don't need to try to run back. 
Um, or actually, does it save? I didn't think it did. Okay, never mind. I am completely wrong. Well, I do want to try to get my souls. But we'll, uh... Eh? Yeah, I know you can exit and hit the other side. I, uh... I'm not... Uh, wanting to exit the game like that, though. Oh, come on. Ah. Fortunately, this boss doesn't really do a lot of attacks. It's just the terrain that's a pain. to see. I thought it was this. Okay, let's try to get a little bit closer. Uh, not that much closer, apparently. Okay, we'll try to get a little... Golly, it just does not want me in there. <laughs> okay. Also, there is a ring that lets you um, shoot further. It is uh, a ring that you get for killing Gouge, and I am not a fan of that. So, golly, where is the stupid thing? Somewhere in there. There we go. Sorry for the delay. All right, so now we uh, run back. Again, the uh, issue is not the boss, it is the terrain. Alright, so basically what we're trying to do is do a straight run. Run into the bed. And then that happens. Alright, so... Eh? 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 Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, I said it doesn't really do damage, but okay. But th that's the hard part. Once you're in here, you're pretty much fine. And then uh, the whole thing is uh, just this. That's it. And uh, that is the boss. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to get my souls unless I, uh, warp out and come back in, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. I think there is a bonfire that appears here after you kill. Yeah, yeah, there is. So I'll just go back to the daughter. And then after that, uh, I think I'll call it a stream. So, yeah, um, we've got... Three out of the four bosses out of the way. Unfortunately, just like with Frant, I made a, a colossal blunder and uh, lost uh, one of the things I was wanting to do. So, oh, hello, elevator. So, yeah, that is a little sad. Uh, let's go to Ornstein. It's been a bit. I'm feeling a little evil anyways. Not that Ornstein's evil, but, you know, boss. As in he was a boss. 
so. Yeah, like this is when you would come back. Like you have to walk back though, or not walk back, but uh, basically all these things would be dead. And then it, he would be uh, going, what is going on? Blah, 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 everything like that. So yeah, again, I don't like it's, it's, you know, it would probably be a kindness to put him out of his misery, but I'm just, it's too sad. It's too sad for me. I can't do it. <clears throat> Whoops. Sorry. But yeah, again, you can kind of see, like, there's those things. Basically, those are what you're fighting throughout the stage. I do not want to fight a bunch of Tyrannosaurus Rexes. <laughs> throughout the stage. Uh, so yeah, I pass. And I pass him. If I had just run past him, you know, there wouldn't have been any issues. Oh, Solaire, I miss you too. Boo hoo. But yeah, you can kind of see, oh, was that a soul? Or was that an item over there? Let me walk over there and then the whole floor collapses. So it's, uh, just, no thank you. Um, so yeah, it's just better to not even bother with that. Um, there is a really weird enemy, though, I want to show you. If I can find it. Where is it? Uh, yeah, I'll pick that up at least. It's not too far out of the way. Yeah, I could use that to level up a bit. But yeah, there's a really weird enemy that is nowhere else in the game. I think it's up here. There's like three or four of them around. Yeah, that thing. Like, what the heck? Here, I'll get up closer to it. Hold on. Yeah, like, what the heck, guy? He squirts acid at you, so it can destroy your equipment pretty fast. And I think he can also uh, swallow you up into his scubbard thing. Um, like, pick you up with his claws and then put you inside and stuff. Uh, he doesn't drop anything, though. Um, but yeah, so no buenos on that. There, I think there's actually one more over here, and it's hiding an item behind it. I will say the uh, the greatsword is definitely doing a great job at stunning these folks. Yeah, I didn't think that was a uh, mimic. Yeah, not gonna bother with any pyromancies either. Plenty of those runs online. I mean, I guess there's plenty of Dark Souls runs online. Period. It's just uh, there's I don't know. I'm trying to give it my own little charm, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, we'll just get our souls and then uh, warp back and uh, I guess go uh, to the last boss, which is Seath. And hopefully not fudge up our last remaining good person, I guess. Uh, where are my souls? There they are. All right. And we'll go ahead and homeward bone back because I don't want to chance trying to roll into it and then dying. Oh, well, there we go. All right, we'll do that. We'll level up. Ooh, we're so close to another level. We'll go ahead and spend souls and stuff like that. So it's a soul of a hero and then just some change. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. And yeah, so next up, we're going to be going to Honor Londo, uh, walking our way to 
excuse me, I'm sorry, uh, where those boars were and taking uh, Dragon to town. <laughs> or trying to, anyways. Actually, uh, yeah, I'll call it there. Folks, thanks so much for, you know, staying with me a little bit later than usual and putting up my late start and stuff. But I hope you all had fun. Got to see the ups of defeating, uh, you know, a couple of uh, the big bosses and then the downs of losing Solaire. But uh, yeah, on YouTube, uh, I'll make sure to post a link for what it looks like, you know, whenever you get Solaire in the last fight and, uh, and uh, saving him and stuff. So thank you all so much. Take care, stay safe, have a good rest of the night. Bye-bye, Zolz.